Hello everyone, welcome back to our YouTube channel Esculenta Science. Today we are going to learn about adult trends in milk quality testing. First, let's see what is food adulteration. Adulteration is a legal offense and when the food fails to meet the legal standards set by the government, it is said to have been adulterated. Food adulteration takes place when intentionally or unintentionally substances that degrade the quality of food are added to it. Thus, food adulteration can be defined as the contamination or adulteration of food or food material by adding harmful substance to it. So, what is adulteration? The substances that lower the quality of food when added to it are called adulterants. In milk, we can find salt, sugar, urea, starch, peroxides, alkali and lime and hypochlorides as adulterants. So today we are going to learn how to analyze them in quality analysis of milk. First, let's see how to detect salt in milk. First, you need to get 1 ml of milk into a test tube and add two drops of potassium dichromate. Then after that one milliliter of nitrate is added and is shaken gently and observed. Reddish color indicates the absence of salt and yellow color indicates the presence of salt. Here you can see the chemical reactions that happens in the test now let's see how to detect sugar for that 7.5 milliliter of milk sample is measured into a test tube and 0.5 milliliter of concentrated salt HCl and 1 milliliter of 10 percent resacinol are added then the solution is mixed well and boiled in a water bath for five minutes Red color indicates the presence of sucrose above 0.2%. Here you can see how sucrose react with HCl and form glucose and fructose. The only naturally occurring sugar in milk is lactose. Although glucose and galactose may be present due to the bacterial or fermentative breakdown of the lactose, fructose reacts with Resacinol giving red color. Fructose is a keto sugar and resacinol reacts only with keto sugars. After 5 minutes, lactose in milk is converted to glucose and galactose. Galactose is a ketone sugar and reacts with resacinol giving a red color. Therefore, get results within 5 minutes is important. Now let's see how to detect urea. For that, 5 ml of milk is measured into a test tube and 5 ml of urea is added. Then the mixture is incubated at 40 Celsius for 15 minutes. After those, 1 to drops of phenol red is added. Pink color indicates the presence of urea and yellow color indicates the absence of urea. Here you can see the chemical reaction, urea converted to ammonia and carbon dioxide by urease and the ammonia we can observe as ammonium hydroxide. These reactions are taking place within 15 minutes. When add phenol red indicated, the color is converted to pink. The next most important adulterant in milk is starch. To detect starch in milk, 10 ml of milk is measured into a test tube and 0.5 ml 1% iodine solution is added. Permanent blue indicates presence of starch and diluted control sample give a yellowish or brownish color. 
Then let's see how to detect peroxides. Peroxides are used in milk to prevent the spoiling of milk. So let's see how to detect peroxide. There are two methods. First let's see method 1. For that, 2 ml of milk is measured and to test tube a 1 ml of sulfuric is added. Then 2 ml of 10% potassium iodide, 10 ml of distilled water and 2% of starch are added. Then the mixture is added aloud for 5 minutes. Method 2 10 ml of milk is measured into a test tube, then 1 ml of potassium iodide and 1 ml of starch are added. Finally, 10 ml of HCl is added, then it is observed after 3 minutes. During the results, I2 reacts with starch and gives blue color in the presence of peroxide. Here you can see the chemical reaction. Now see how to detect alkali and lime. 20 ml of milk is measured into a test tube and 1 ml of bromothymol blue indicator is added. After that it is mixed for 5 minutes. White sediments appears at the bottom of the tube addition of lime is suspected. And blue green indicates the presence of added sodium carbonate, sodium bicarbonate and sodium hydroxide. At last but not least, let's see how to detect hyperchlorides. For that, 10 ml of milk is measured into a test tube and 1 ml of potassium iodide and 1 ml of starch are added. Then the mixture is mixed and 10 ml of HCl is added and the test tube is inverted. Then it is kept away from sunlight and fluorescence 3 minutes. Black after 3 minutes indicates presence of chlorine. Here, a control test must be done on chlorine-free milk by using pure reagents which will give a pale mauve color after 15 to 20 minutes. So here is how you can identify and detect adulterants in milk quality testing. If you need any clarification, please leave a comment. Thanks for watching.